please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Prakash Divan also joins in uh, to give us some fundamental views on uh, what to expect here on. Prakash, hi, good morning. Good tidings for us because the monsoon forecast is positive. Yes. Um, would you uh, buy any of these stocks? I'm sure you have a lot of them. So, you know, names like Escort, m and etc. But um, anything fresh? So, uh, m and is of course uh, something that we spoke about uh, two weeks back and so this monsoon thing is going to first in the first round you'll have the more obvious ones uh, doing well you know the likes of vst escorts m m and then i think the market will start realizing that a good monsoon means much more than just auto sales and tractor sales and hence you would probably start seeing a lot of the consumption basket which is more rural oriented getting into there and look at look at where we are uh, sonia in the market today i mean i was just looking at the list yesterday and we had some close to about 17 stocks, very heavy weighted stocks like TCS, Titan, uh, you know, Escorts, m and which are a 52 week highs. And the market's still about six and a half, seven percent short of its all time high. Yeah. Which really means that the, now the uh, heavy lifting is going to be done by some of the other new names. So you would, I would rather focus on that. So you will see that contribution coming in very significantly. Like which are the new names? Uh, so, no, so I think uh, what hasn't delivered within the Nifty will start contributing, including the likes of Infosys, which people have kind of uh, 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 shown a lot of disappointment in. But that's more of a mismatch in expectation versus reality. Okay. So you would have the reliance of the world, Infosys, contributing to you know this weight lifting. But yeah. coming back to the monsoon gene, and I heard you talk about no sell sometime back with uh, yes. Sudarshan, I think. So we, we keep on talking about these rubber uh, price related moves in, in Apollo and Seat and they've been uh, growing at a scorching base. But Nocel is one of the key uh, players within that rubber chemical segment which provides uh, a lot of you know that critical input to all these tire manufacturers. So there's no reason why uh, Nocel won't do well. So oh. I'm, I'm also very positive on that. The only thing is there was an over rank from the promoter selling uh, Naveen Florin had some uh, shares that came out in the market. But I think that's kind of over and done with. Okay. So you definitely look at that within this mid cap uh, category. Okay. Your thoughts on uh, Mumbai real estate? Uh, so, so let me get Obra out of the way. So one of the things that I found very peculiar in this offer was, of course, this is this seems like first of its kind where Obra never came into discounting mm -hmm. and all that. But in, in effect, what it also does is it gets rid of a significant amount of high cost inventory at, in one shot because they get the money from the bank 100% and it's, it's actually the buyer of the house who keeps on repaying that loan subsequently in the next 3-4 years. So it's, it's going to definitely ha uh, pad up their p &L in a very significant way. But coming back to Bombay, uh, I think uh, the, the demand from the investor segment has come down and it's actually dried out. So now you would only have, uh, 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 you know, uh, projects which are sold or targeted at actual dweller users, not investors. So, which means, you know, you see the response that Mahindra Life Space has got for it's one of its recent affordable housing uh, uh, segment. Now, in, in Bombay, affordable housing is is a misnomer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, it doesn't so, exist. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it only gets defined by the size of the apartment or mm. the, the flat. But uh, in effect, uh, you still would have to wait for buyers to come into, uh, mm. you know, buying that particular thing as dwellers and then not just as investors, which people have anyways done all across our studio we see in lower parallel. So, my <laughs> sense is you'll have to wait for the pickup. But I agree with Ashwini, you have Soba now getting into Gandhinagar, for instance. Yes, All the way yeah. from from uh, south, they've kind of ventured. So these new geographies, but you would have to kind of uh, wait for most real estate players to localize themselves in terms of new geographies. Because it's not so easy to go out and succeed everywhere where you start building. So we'll have to <coughs> give it some time. But I think it's DLF is looking so promising uh, from a price level now. Mm. Uh, given all the negatives are priced there and everything's kind of done with. And they have such a, s a smart inventory of uh, commercial uh, rented real estate, which, which sure. is what people will start liking. So, you know, the other stock I wanted to ask you about, Prakash, was Dish TV. I mean, everyone's talking about it now, the merger synergies yeah. uh, with Videocon D2H. And not just that, promoters putting in money at, you know, about 74 rupees or so. Yeah. Do you think the future is bright here? I think so, and I remember Anuj and I discussing this on closing well last week, uh, very briefly though, and then that was the first day when, when we had seen the Videocon group actually uh, uh, looking at a change of hands in terms of you know the new ownership coming in. So, I, and I, I think this was kind of uh, on the cards. Uh, this might not have been formally on the letter, but 
it was in spirit uh, agreed upon of sorts when this uh, merger happened and now what's going to happen is with the uniform buying I mean, the ownership uh, pattern this uh, the investment that is required in this business to scale up rapidly and and given that all other competition is uh, withering this is going to have a significant market share jump so i i am very positive on this space and particularly uh, dish tv within that space because there's really not much of alternatives that you uh, could look at so definitely but you'll have to be patient with it it's going to be a steady growth uh, given back by numbers and and uh, arpus and not necessarily just a uh, uh, 80 to 100 10 125 move in a in a very short run okay